Okay, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm about to do a mission right now. It's up ahead. Hey, I'm coming. What's up, Bill? We got something cooking you might be interested in. I'm gonna like the sound of this. Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion at Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. Very good point. <laughs> yeah. What do y'all want me to do? Hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. Are you serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Nina? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> okay, I suppose. It's worth taking a look at least. I'm gonna be performing. I better go get changed out of these rags. Give me a minute, gentlemen. Okay. <laughs> so, Bill, this better be good. It is good. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Strauss? That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. dead? What? Huh. Well, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. I and hope so. Head up there and collect. He lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan then? Oh, well, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. This is a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right. Okay, let's move out. Let's go. Weapons. I should try out this bolt action rifle and shotgun. Yeah, that sounds about good. Sounds good enough. So, tell me again about this big can't go wrong plan of yours. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can. Once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot quite like me. <laughs> it should work. Once she's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh. And did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan. I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. We got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. 
can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool up there. Couple of punch-ups. Dealt with some old Driscolls. Oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up. It's just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill, I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? Pat on the back? A medal? Just know, I got the lead on this one. We'll see about that. Once things get going. Yeah. So, thinking this through. Rob Cornwall's train. We shoot a heap of his men in Valentine. We rob his stagecoach. This is just dawning on you now. And now, we're going back to the one place he knew where to find us. That's a genius of it. Folk never look at what's right under their nose. I ain't sure that's always true. What's happened to you? You're getting real nervy in your old age. The last few weeks happened. Forget about Cornwall. He can't have many men left at this point. Got a bit hairy in that barn, but we all walked away fine from that. Didn't walk away with much. If four of us could deal with them in Valentine, and four of us could deal with them after the coach robbery, I ain't too worried. If you say so. We need to move quick once we're in Valentine. I'm sure they ain't forgotten us. Of course! In and out! Dutch is gonna love this. Let's get it done first. Whoa! Glad you and Lenny are along for this, Karen. Someone's gotta keep you boys out of trouble. I ain't sure even Lenny can be relied on to keep his head. Not after that night you two had in Valentine. Oh, oh yeah. Forget that. What little I remember of it. You've always been a bad drunk. And before you say it, I know. Takes one to know one. Guess <laughs> we'll never learn. Feel much better. So should we stop for some whiskey? How about we wait till after the bank, alright? Yeah. Oh, we're here. Just play cool. Get out. Whoa. Good morning. <laughs> he just ran over someone. Okay. Let's leave the horses here off the main drain. All right. Get my weapons. Oh. All right, gentlemen, here we are. Okay, get ready.
Please, you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. That will have to wait. We're here. Let's take it nice and easy. Right here. Get ready. Okay. Go to work. Of course. Keep it cool and follow me, fellas. So, we never decided. Is it lost little girl you want or the drunken harlot? <laughs> the last one. The last one. Uh, of course, you know I like the harlot. Yeah. <laughs> I got okay. this. This is a robbery. <clears throat> Open, a Open, it. Open it. Come on. Hurry up. I, I'm going as fast as I can. Hurry up. Blow up the safes. Okay. We gotta move before they blow. Oh. The law will be all over us. Now you shut the hell up and be still. I'll go check the front. Ah. 
Get back. <laughs> we got it. I'm collecting it as fast as I can. We need to get out of here. How's it looking there? Good. I told you. Don't count your chickens just yet. <laughs> Lots of money. This is looking good. Yeah. Nearly there. All okay, done. Let's get out of here. Come on, let's go. Shoot the horse too.
Come on, beat the train. Yeah. <laughs> that was stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. We're alive and we're paying. I don't see the problem. <laughs> and that is the problem. Bill, <laughs> this is a very good take. That should be yeah, happy. not bad. Even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Hey, it was fun. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp. And make sure you ain't followed. Oh, of course. husband's not cold in the ground and you've come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Yeah. I'm real sorry about the way things turned out. Mm -hmm. but he had a choice. He had a choice. He didn't have yeah. a choice. He was good and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you as good as killed him yourself and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? Should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? <laughs> I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the likes of you. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. On that <laughs> maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. Next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Thanks for the money.
Nice. Sleep first, then I'll do one more mission. Hosea, how you doing? What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Oh, I get you. you and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. Okay. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah. yeah. I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses. All I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ooh, she's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. Okay. in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over. For the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> oh, it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Why don't do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward. Finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, 
Who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it. At least not without orders. Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional experience. <laughs> okay. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. <laughs> Alright. Next stop, the road saloon. I'm on it. Here we go. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. Really? More, but not bad considering how hot they were. Especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah, that don't surprise me. <laughs> Alright, this could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood few. <laughs> we'll need something. I ain't playing dress up. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Hosea, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Put this hat on. Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward. Just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. What about you? Uh. You can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> Mike broke poor Mammy's heart. Uh, there, there. Fenton, there, there. Don't get mad now. That's just what we're start we're saying. <laughs> Undercover. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Quite the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello! Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him, don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys? How'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come <laughs> on, Fenton. Hand out the liquor. All right. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. That's my brother Fenton. He's a bit funny. But boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this year bar, in this year town, are entirely free. 
Okay, here it goes. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. How'd they get upstairs? <laughs> right behind. Shower. You're dead, man. I'm coming. I'm getting us out of here. Okay, you drive, I'll shoot. Set them on fire.
made it. Oh. <laughs> you see any more of them? Don't think so. I think we lost them. Ha! Jesus, all this over a few bottles of booze? Exactly. It's more they don't want another gang on their patch. Okay. Pull off the road here. Easy. Take up a career in, what was it? Advertise. Yeah. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Uh, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithley. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. Well, I can't you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So what do you think? About what? Fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? Right now, we try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different suburbs, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other anyway. Okay, well, Hosea's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. We gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback? I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Okay. That was quite something. All that for liquor. Alright, I'm going to end the video right here. I'll see you next time.